The Western European culture recognizes that humanity is about 12,000 years old and human has evolution from monkeys. The modern science has only about 500 years old. In the 14th century, in many parts of Europe, dogs were killed like they were not alive. They were treated like machines. In 1497, it was the beginning of the invasion of the American continent from the Western European countries. Some of them got land territorial and the others got trade business. It was the beginning of mestizaje, of the most ambitious culture that connects everything with the value of money and power, that thinks the earth, the trees, the animals, as well as people belong to them. It was the beginning of the biggest devastation ecocide and genocide of the Latin American people and culture, the biggest in human history. In Europe, before 1497, was called the darkness of the medieval time, and after 1497, was called Renaissance. The scientific, the art, the food, the gold revolution. They took not only the value of money, but food, drugs, culture, as well as knowledge like is shown in the Dresden Code and the Borgia Code that explains everything in numerology and poetry. The first group of Europeans arriving to America declared they found the most beautiful, bigger, and organized cities and more civilized humans that did not know the lying or stealing, not even as a concept. They did not know firearms and surprise factor. In 1582, the Gregorian calendar was created. With the false mathematics, the Pope Gregory created the Gregorian calendar with 12 months a year, creating months of 28 days, 29 days, 30 days, and 31 days, confusing humanity from nature and the cosmos, limiting time to 60 seconds to produce. The modern calendar is a corporational money machine and is created for a work and consumer society, a production machine, scientifically, we know that the moon gives 13 laps around the Earth a year, so it's a 13 month calendar. And one month, a moon cycle, is approximately 28 days. Nature is the Mayan science and religion, our Mother Earth, our Father the Cosmos, Kukulkan, the God of the sky, the God of light, the God of love. Kukikan is Kukulkan's phallus, also known as the feather snake, is the celestial snake, also known as dragon. Kukikan is the serpent of life that penetrates the all planets between Hunaku and the sun, creating an energy circuit that gives life to all the universe. The serpent of life, we see gets down at the Kukulkan's pyramid in Chichen Itza, that fertilizes and gives life to the earth and everything on top of it. We see it on March 21st at the Kukulkan Pyramid. We see how it gets down and it spreads the energy to the four cardinal points. The head of the snake represents the sun. Kukikan's body is made of kins. A kin is also known as a flower of life. The sun and the moon projects one kin per day, like a jukebox projecting a 24 hours movie of our daily life. This illusion is called the Mayan. As we can understand, destiny is written. The body of Kukikan, the serpent of life, is made of kings. On its eight meters diameter has 3,640 kings. It's 1,820 kings turning in a clockwise direction towards Hunapu, and the other 1,820 turning on the opposite direction towards the sun, both running permanently at the same time in different directions in the same body of the snake. So the sun and the moon plays a daily king and sends back the rest to Hunapu. This is how a king, a fractal of information, looks like. This also from another dimension is called Metaton Star that contains five elements, water, air, fire, earth, and ether that Platon described as the five geometric forms called platonic solids. A king has a toroidal form, universal energy in a world form, like the energy we can find in an atom 
the solar system or a human. The energy comes from one side, pass through the center, and from the other side comes back. Many ancient cultures know the power of the kin, and it's represented in icons, alphabets, and pyramids. If we study the kin as an accurate weather, the kin give us a very certain description of the day. For an example, at some point, the kin wind, the day will be windy. The day of the kin night, it will be semi-cloudy. The day of kin sun, it will be sunny. The day of kin mirror will be a reflecting gray. The kin storm, it may rain. The moon is delayed 15 minutes every day because the entire universe is moving at the Fibonacci sequence. So the moon delays 15 minutes every day. The Fibonacci sequence is the equation that explains mathematically how any living form in the whole universe is unfolding, increasing, growing. For an example, in all the leaves of the trees, all trees and all plants, in all the seeds, in all the flowers, in all the animals, in all human bodies, everything in nature in the whole galaxy is increasing at this sequence. It's an infinite mathematic sequence, a series of numbers that can get by adding the last two numbers started with zero, one as follows. If the entire universe is unfolding, increasing, the king is unfolding, increasing too. We all are aware of a divine energy of Kukulkans. Hunapu is the source of life, the source of Kukulkans follows. Hunapu in Maya, Ojin in Nahuatl, Vishnu in India, Andromeda, galaxy in the modern science. In this scene inside the phallus, we can see how Andromeda, Hunapu, emerge kings. These dots are kings. The universe create and maintain life, and kings is what it breeds. As we can see, Hunapu emerge kings. Hunapu is a factory of kings. A king is a fractal of energy a fractal of information, a fractal of consciousness. This general model of energy, of life, that exists at every scale is a particles of fulfillment that knows and regulates itself. They are a small fullness packages. Akin is a primary model that is used in nature at any scale. It's a living connection pattern. The same code in all nature if we check nature, it's everywhere, in all nature, in any living system. The Mayan classifies Hunapu as a supreme god, the one giver of movement and nature, the origin of life beyond the sun. Hunapu, the galactic core, the movement, the energy, the origin of life, consciousness, symbolized everything, the shape and the energy, the soul and the spirit. In Maya, Hunapu means one with God, Hunab means one, Ku means God. The entire universe is united to Hunab Ku. We all are one with the whole universe. As we all are grounded to the earth with our feet, with chakra one, with the crown in our head, chakra seven, we are united to Hunab Ku. By Kushan Sum, Imaya means literally the path that leads to heaven, the umbilical cord of the universe, the arm, like pearls on a string, strings of invisible galactic life that connects the individuals to all things, to a grain of sand, to all plants, animals, to the earth, to the planets, to the sun, to all that exists in the universe. We are a projection, a reflection of a cosmic consciousness of Hunapu. The Maya perspective is the university of consciousness. The notion of material is derivated from the mental, from our mind. In reality, only consciousness exists. Consciousness, intelligent energy, as a piece of parts, an ant, a human, a stone, everything has life, everything has sensibility. How now we can begin to understand with the genetic code, DNA, that has a wave character structure. As an example, when we hear music, sound waves are propagated throughout space, and something inside of us experience an emotional charge. All beings, visible and invisible, 
are united to Kushansum. Kushansum is the name of the network for which we all are united to the galactic core Hunaku. It can be easy to imagine that the information is generated by Hunaku and it's transmitted through Kushansum. As the waves propagated in space, like the information transmitted in a walkie-talkie, the information is structured according to the receiver in which is designated, like the information transmitted from one cell phone to another cell phone is designated. The space trip is information. The information is transmitted by Hunaku. We all are information. The universe is information. In the Western culture, wrote Robert in 1940 was the first to detect radio emissions from Andromeda. In 1950, astronomers Brown and Hazard discovered that this galaxy Andromeda from the whole universe is the only one that emerges and provides energy. It's said that the sun is fixed in the middle of the galaxy, but this is incorrect. What is in the center of the galaxy is known as the seven chakras, the seven sacramentos. In modern science, Orion constellation, also known as the seven sisters, the seven suns, for the seven energetic powers of our human. In the next scene, we see how Hunapku provides energy that makes the entire solar system moves around the galaxy, including the sun. Energy that rotates like a whirlwind that makes the universe to evolution, to unfold, to extend, to grow at the Fibonacci sequence. The human being is both an addition, a subtraction, a multiplication, a division, a common denominator, and the results are based by the law of compensation that is obtained according to our conduct. The Maya knows the natural consequences of action, karma, either good or bad, all debts are paid. Whether they are large or small, necessary will be paid sooner or later in this life. The conclusion is with death, our soul or physical remains on the earth. What moves is the spirit. The energy has reintegrated to the galactic cosmic focus, the sun. Therefore, who has left has won a reward. Reincarnation can still enjoy. We say, so life is movement. Born and death are the measure. Born and death are acts of transmission to others' life. Destiny is written. It works as an hourglass from one side, life and this dimension as we know, and the other side, life as we know as death. When we face the truth that we are nothing but the product of nature, believers and not believers alike, all born from the sun and the moon and the earth. We all are passengers on board of this spaceship, the earth. The Maya have found measurement akin that the sun projects. Like a giant circle, the galaxy can be represented by fractals of information in which each of the radial pulsations can be described by a series of primary numbers known as the secret Mayan calendar of 260 kings, Sol King. The whole universe is a calendar at scales and astronomical movements marked to the course of the loop. The sun gives us life and the moon pulls. Western culture see one day like 24 hours. Eight hours to produce, eight hours to relax, eight hours to sleep. But they get confused for the accumulation of things. Sulking calendar teaches us that these 24 hours has one sun and one moon. It means that the sun has one energy and the moon has a different energy. There are 20 types of energies of the sun and there are 13 types of energy of the moon. The sun gives us life. The sun defines how we are. And the moon pulls the hair, the nails, the sea, the wind, defines how we develop. Even our thoughts are sent by the sun. The Solkin, the secret calendar, is a cosmic calendar that synchronizes human to nature and the cosmos. 1320 is the frequency of nature. These are the original Mayan glyphs. These are Jose Arguelles glyphs of the same calendar. 
just following these mathematical patterns that will lead you to the weekly, monthly, and yearly energy. By doing this, we can find the Earth cycle for millions of years. The long count, as the Haab calendar shows the evolution of the Earth and humanity, one day for the Earth is 52,000 years for us. 26,000 years of day and 26,000 years of night, like 12 hours of a day and 12 hours of a night for us. We have passed the 26,000 years of darkness of night on December 21st, 2012. As we know, the last minutes before the sun comes out is the darkest point of the night. As a result, what has humanity has done to the earth in the past 100 years? As our brain is part of nature and receives the information from the sun and the moon, on December 21st, 2012, the first sunbeam of the sun came out. The sun came out completely the 21st of July, 2013. The sun will take about eight more years to illuminate completely. So by 2021, the 500 years legend will accomplish. If we compare the sky and the earth with a huge white screen, the TV programming guide will be the Mayan calendar. See ourselves as actors following a sun script. We are in the first years of the new cycle, a new cycle of light, the Mayan era of 26,000 years. If we follow the moon calendar of 13 moons, moon 13 is a magic night. It requires the presence of the moon through sunrise. The Itzais, the galactic Mayans, the sun gods, the archangels, the police of the sun, the Anunnakis, built the pyramids more than 20,000 years ago. The Itzais left the earth in the year 700, 28 generations ago, and left the pyramids and the schools and the ball games under their son, the Kokom. The Itzais, the fathers, create human out of corn. And they created women of the set five colors of the corn, white, red, purple, yellow, and mixed. The human and the corn has the same number of chromosomes. And some modern English science with DNA tests proves we all come from seven women. There are 10 calendars calculating the whole universe. The O, the circle, symbol of the consciousness. The G, symbol of the universe. The T, or cross, symbol of creation. OGT, consciousness of the cosmos and creation. Nahuatl means descendant of the trees. In the reincarnation chain, first the trees, then the animals, and human at the last. The trees and plants are fundamental, very important, more than humans. Trees and plants generate the oxygen we need to breathe. Animals provide food to us. So we need them, but they don't need human. The Itzais, based on nature and the universe, designed our temples called pyramids. Stones that comes from the heart of the earth that has been permanent places of science and religion for thousands of years, and they will last thousands of years more. They balance the energy, creating a network called geomancy. Geo, earth, mancia, divinity, a network of telluric energy through the earth, a giant nervous system that can be distributed by the implementation of a stone, a monument, an energy tree, like a giant nervous system that can be distributed by implementation of a stone, a monument, or even a tree that acts as an energy catalyzer. There are more than 8,300 temples on the earth. These temples create a network similar to the network in the human bodies. Pyramids constructions around the world, like Japan, China, Mongolia, Indonesia, Egypt, 
Mexico, Peru, etc. As acupuncture knows the energy points in the human body, the ancient culture knows the earth points of energy. The pyramid is a processor of secret energy that we absorb in our consciousness. In the pyramid, human can find spirituality that will allow you to find your way to the creator. The Mayan relates human being with the pyramid, saying, you are the pyramid and the pyramid is you. The energy of human being is also pyramid energy, as it is mainly found in each of the water molecules that constitute 75% of our bodies. They have a triangular pyramid structure. God is the intelligent energy, the vibration. The serpent is the way the energy moves. The circle represents consciousness combined with the spirit, L, the vibration. The word chontal in Maya means kneel with the secret. With great respect and humble, we must kneel with the holy presence of Kukulkan or Quetzalcoatl. By doing this, we will be able to awaken our cosmic consciousness. The seventh power within us will awake. It's important to learn Mayan language. It's a mantic language, the same as Sanskrit. As Chichen Itza, Chi means mouth, Chen means well, or Sanote, Itza of the Itzais tribe. That can mean holy man or knowledge man. Quetzalcan, graduated student that win and score in the ball game. The student submitted to enlightenment through Mayan ceremonies of 13 jicaras and seven jicaras. It's a person with the highest level of consciousness who has submitted an individual passion, a warrior of light that is able to transform the seven egoist energies in seven serpent of lights of truth, defeating the inner darkness of the ego that attacked every human being through love. The Chakmol represents the solar plexus, the seat of the soul, is the change of dense energy for passion of life and the soul. Transform fear in love, anger in serenity, greed and detachment, gluttony in temper, lust in sexual energy, laziness for work, envy, in conformity, sadness, in happiness. The sun cult begin with the ball game, a rubber ball and two rings, two teams. Both teams played dressed differently, representing their region. As the ball has the same shape as the sun, the ball work as a gauge of the universe, picking up the winner as future master, a warrior of light, Quetzalcan. The rest of the students that did not score the goal. After completing the studies, they become Nohosh Winik, a wise man who will occupy important position in the government. In this picture, the winner is pointed with arrows, has no head. Instead of the head, has seven serpents, seven serpents of knowledge. They have reached Buddha status. The sentient arrow shows the circle representing the warrior head showing that is breathing, symbol of a mental death, not a physical death. The winner will celebrate at the Jaguar temple following to the initiation rituals, like in the North Temple, where the master will give the winner a drink, the Pescohuite, Diurema, or Ayahuasca, that will take the student to a highest level of consciousness and confront the interfist of the ego and learn to dominate it. So you can understand the spirit at the Sompantli. Then it moves to the ego temple where the student stays in a tantric position of the Chakmol in deep meditation, how it's represented in the eyes in this picture. The domination of the beast of the Jaguar and get to the knowledge of the eagle. In the temple of Venus, the student remains in silence. He's only allowed to see and listen. They lecture the student of the universe, music. These cylinders represent 
1,820 sounds of the kings. This cylinder works like a galactic marimba of sound 13. They take a steam bath and finally graduate at the temple of the warriors, now called a thousand columns. Columns representing the 1,820 most powerful masters. As brilliant as they appear, the Mayan people has been considered Neolithic and Aborigines. Neolithic from the Ice Age and Aborigine from the beginning of time. But these terms are wrong. They are based in a Western European knowledge of progress. European civilization has been less than 500 years. If the Maya were Neolithics or Aborigine, supposedly they did not know the wheel, but the Mayan calendars are circle and works like gears calculating the whole universe. It's been 170 years since European normal people knows about the Mayans. When the archaeologist John Stephens and Frederick Cattlewoods in 1840 took the proof to Europe, the proofs of lost civilization. Other writers like James Churchyard and Lewis Spencer wrote stories about Lemuria and Atlantis based on the Mayan temple's glyphs. The knowledge of the Mayan is barely used nowadays. To the Western culture, the cosmos disturbed them, inspires fearness and physical and spiritual discomfort. Our imagination has created heaven and hell. The blindness of humanity has created a situation where a few people impose over the rest by brutal force instead of a rational persuasion. As we know, the Western culture teaches us to live in a material world. Society has established in this third dimension, educated through a cooperational marketing, has teach society that they don't produce enough so that they are not enjoy enough. Always in a hurry and pending things to do, these detonate diseases like stress, depressions, cancer, AIDS, etc. Falling as victims of the industry and pharmaceutical business. Again, an unstoppable thoughts make and balance in our mind and body. Our thoughts are where we are. Modern life occupies our brain with dense thoughts and emotions full of unnecessary things that cause an energy discharge to our body. For an example, in our homes, when we do have a constant 110 volts, and we get like 105 volts, 115, 120 variable volts current, instead, our appliances break down. The same happened with these dense thought and emotions or human body organs collapse. The Western culture ignores a lot of aspects of sexuality and the cosmos. For this reason, they have remained in the darkness. Even worse, some religions judge sexuality aspects as diabolic, creating sexual repressions and mental sickness, creating more sexual delinquency. The Mayan have enough sexual knowledge to procreate sons predeterminated the gender and the vocation or give more pleasure to the women. This poor society, living only in their poor little material way, ignore the true loves of energy and spirit. With afraid of dying, they live poorly in their material life. That it don't matter how much they possess, they're never satisfied they can never enjoy plainly. The word Maya in India means the illusion of life, our daily life. The Maya has knowledge of the origin of life and humanity. In the beginning, 
everything was dark. Then the light comes. They create the earth, the mountains, the seas, the trees, the plants, the animals. Human at the last. Human was created in Chichen Itza and in Saqqara, Egypt, Mayan and Egypt. The divine architects, the Itzais, the Anunnakis, created men. The only being with a conscious of creation. The architects tried two times before. They tried with wood first and with mud, but it finally worked when they tried with corn. As man was created with the conscience of creation, men started to thank the creators for giving us life, and they started to pray, thanking thanks to allow us to see, feel everything, see the closer and the farthest, and thanks for enjoying all things of creation. When the creator saw man so perfect, they decide to send a beam so human could not see clearly. So it would be their own effort to clear it. So the prey change. So please, creators, help us light in our way. Please protect us. These pictures shows how the Mayan people live for more than thousands of years before the meteorite impacted the earth 65 million years ago. In Maya, Babaltan, meaning confusion, like Pakal Botan, Jashmen, in Palenque Chapas, in Spanish. In Maya, Nahachan, means the pillar of a portal, like the underground rooms. As we all know, the moment has reached. The five suns of 5,125 years have raised. For this reason, the secret symbols of the Mayans will accomplish destiny. Now the sun is sending the correct information to get humanity out of the darkness. From now on, we will live on our roots to the universe, science, and religion. The prophecies of the Itzais will accomplish the creation of self-sufficient systems of food and energy. It will be the moment we all become Buddhas. Once we manage our seven powers with our mind, we will be healthy of mind and soul. We all can be enlightened. We only need to develop our consciousness. Visit our secret land, the Mayan, that welcomes humanity. Humanity's seed was planted here. We all humans, we all Mayans. The equation, time times place equals enlightenment. The earth will endure, the garden will regrow. The magic power of the king will be established. Just as a hawk in its forward rotation turns without looking back, the planetary king will enter in humanity.